Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Cassie. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys our evening routine with my six month old daughter. So we just had our first baby back in February. So as new parents, it obviously takes a while to kind of get in your groove and figure out what a typical day looks like, what a typical routine looks like but I honestly feel like we're at a really good place. We've got kind of our morning and evening routines down, and so I figured it'd be a perfect time to film a video. I've also heard from other parents that the second you get a routine down, it's about to change, so we'll see if that's true, but I'm really excited to kind of take you over the course of our evening and see how that looks. So. I actually work from home, so I'm just finishing up my work day right now, and then I'm gonna go pick up baby girl. So luckily, because I work from home and I have a kind of flexible schedule, she just goes to daycare part-time right now, which is such a huge blessing. So when, if and when I get around to our morning routine, she has her morning nap at home, and then I take her over there, and then I pick her up about five o'clock. So um, if you wanna come along with me, we'll get our evening started. First thing we would do when we get home from daycare is I would take Chloe out, check her diaper, and feed her, regardless of like when her last feed at daycare was, just for like that bonding time for us. However, we got home and even though it's only like five or ten minutes away, somebody fell asleep. I'm gonna let her nap a little bit. I'll just finish up the work that I was working on and we'll reconvene when she wakes up. So after a feed and a diaper change, we will generally just play whatever that looks like. So we'll walk around, we'll go outside, we'll snuggle, and of course her favorite part of the day is when her dad gets home. So I was really excited we were actually able to capture that moment on screen. Um, she gets so excited when she has both her people back home with her.
So when we play on the floor, one of the things I've been doing is I always put down one of our muslin swaddles because I feel like when she's rolling around, especially at this age, I just felt like she would get red spots on her head from the carpet. And even though this is a pretty new place that we live in, and I know the carpet is clean, I just feel like it's gotta be uncomfortable. So put the blanket down, one, for comfort, but two, it's a lot easier to keep clean if she's drooling or spits up or anything like that. So um, we'll just switch out the blanket. And I also, we're encouraging her to move around, so I'll just put toys on the ground to like the right and the left of her, so that way, either way she looks, she has a toy to play with and any things. Jordan did not know I have the camera set up, so it was really cute that we got to capture this moment too. She is definitely a daddy's girl. Jordan is in charge of dinner time, so this particular evening we had chicken and zucchini from my sister's garden, as well as rice. This was actually taken right before we really started getting into the baby led weaning, so we redid that meal another time, and she actually got to eat zucchini, and that's been one of her favorite foods so far. Okay, now the evening walk. This is one of my absolute favorite times of the day. We live in such a great neighborhood. I'm so grateful because there's so many different walking trails. So we can go through the neighborhoods, we can go through the parks, we can go around the lake. Going around the lake is my absolute favorite, so that's what I wanted to do on this particular evening. As you can tell, it's getting pretty dark. So this was towards the end of summer. And so the sun started going down a little bit earlier. So we weren't able to do a full loop, but um, I at least wanted to go by the lake so you guys could see it because it is so pretty, especially at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm all about setting a mood for bath time and Frank Sinatra Radio is one of our favorites. So I will always turn this on while I'm turning on the water and getting her bath ready for her. She loves music and I just feel like the old jazzy sounds are perfect for bath time. So we're gonna get ready to hop in the bath. She didn't used to like baths very much when she was just a fresh newborn, but now that she's moving around more and is a little more curious, she loves the bath. She can also always tell when a camera is on her. <laughs> um, I don't know where she gets that skill from, but she loves bath time and splashing around in the bath. And even more than baths, she loves looking at herself in the mirror. So we always spend a little time as I'm drying her off. Now 
Now you've heard it said a thousand times, but the best way to get your baby sleeping well is to have a good nighttime routine. Now I will say at this point in time, Chloe is not sleeping through the night. She still feeds probably two or three times. However, I just really enjoy our evening rituals. So after bath time, um, we put her in a fresh diaper, we lotion, we have a really nice lavender lotion that we use for bedtime specifically. Um, so we use the lotion, get her in her jammies, and Jordan actually found these light bulbs that you can change the color and change the brightness or dimness. So I always have it on this kind of warm orange tone and kind of on a low setting. So it's not too terribly bright. Of course, the window is open so that I could film this and you could actually see it. Usually the window would be closed. So um, we're keeping it decently dark to let her know it is time to start winding down and getting ready for bed. Now it's time for the very last feed of the night. We try and feed on both sides before bed just to fill her tummy up as much as possible. And after she feeds, I'll put her in the bassinet and hopefully she'll go down for the night. We also have a playlist for this. I'll either use the Calming Christian playlist, which was my go-to during pregnancy and delivery, or we also like the JJ Heller radio. All right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed following along on our evening routine with a six month old. I know everyone does it a little bit differently and I know a lot of the books will say at six months old, she should be going to bed at 7 p.m., not eight. This is just what works for us, what works for our family. It's also summer right now, so I feel like putting her to bed at seven o'clock, it, it's just not, it's not gonna happen. So our bedtime is between 8 and 8.30, that's when we put her down. So it works for us. So I'd love to know in the comments down below if there's anything different that you guys do. Also, please note that not all of this happens every single night. There are some nights where we have to make the choice of are we gonna do an evening walk or are we gonna take a bath? Or there are some nights where we're sitting down to eat dinner at 8 p.m. And she's going down to bed right after that and we have time for nothing else. But for the most part, we really try and stick to this routine and it's just nice for me. It's nice for her. I love our evening walks. It's one of my favorite things and bath time is so fun too. So I hope you enjoyed following along on our evening. I would love to do a morning routine with a six month old as well, but let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd be interested in. I think our next video is going to be a travel vlog. We're going to Bear Lake for um, a long weekend. So that will be coming to you soon. If you enjoy this kind of content, I love doing motherhood, fashion, and a little bit of pageants here and there. So if you like following along with that sort of stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. Baby girl is wide awake, so we're gonna go try and get her down. But thanks for following along and I'll see you guys next time.